Hey, love tribers, peace. Today, I am gonna share with you a quinoa tabbouleh recipe. And um, I've got already in the bowl four cups of cooked quinoa. And so um, you can do this recipe if you want to with sprouted quinoa, but it's about the equivalent of four cups cooked. And I have, oh, probably a good cup or cup and a half of fresh mint. So I got two really big handfuls of mint, mint leaves and I've removed the stem and I've chopped these in the uh, food processor with the S blade. So they're very finely chopped. And then I've got a really big bowl of finely chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. And again, I chopped this in the um, food processor with the S blade, um, finely chopped. And again, I removed a lot of the stems. I left a little bit of the stems, the finer stems, but I removed the big fat, fat stems. And then I've got um, about a fourth of a cup of lemon juice. And you can always use a little more lemon juice if you love a really lemony flavor. I just had two lemons. And so that was just all I had. And then I have finely chopped uh, cherry tomatoes. And I used a pint, a whole pint of cherry tomatoes, but you could use you know, three or four medium-sized tomatoes. So you can really just use any kind of tomato you want. This is the tomatoes that looked great at the store when I was at the store today. And then I've got a little bit of black pepper, and that's optional, and then a little bit of the fine Himalaya salt. And all you're gonna do is um, mix your, your mint, your fresh mint, and your parsley. And you're just gonna blend that up with your, your quinoa. And um, by the way, that was three bunches. And just when I went to the store, I grabbed three bunches of the parsley and um, and used all three bunches. So I really wanted a lot of parsley in there. And now that I've got that mixed up, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And I would say that came up to probably about two cups of tomatoes if you're into measuring. But um, again, it was about the equivalent of a whole pint of the cherry, the cherry tomatoes. And then you're just gonna you know, get that evenly mixed in a large bowl. And the mint smells really wonderful. So it's smelling really great. And it's looking looking like I've got about the right amount of quinoa there. I had a little extra just in case, but um, this is looking really great. And then you add your lemon juice. And if I had um, another lemon or two, I would go and use another lemon or two. So that was a quarter a cup. You could probably use um, up to about a half a cup of lemon juice, depending again on your taste. So you can just sort of taste it as you go and add a little more lemon if you want a little more of that lemon flavor. I think this is still gonna turn out great. So now that I've got that mixed, I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper, and again, just to taste. So I would say that's just about a teaspoon of pepper, or maybe not even quite, that's probably about half a teaspoon. And then we'll do about a teaspoon of salt. And then mix this up. And, and then we're just gonna give it a quick taste. And see how it turned out. good. Mm. So that turned out really, really good. Um, if you want to, you can drizzle some extra virgin olive oil over this. We are not going to do any olive oil. We're going to have it with some avocado tonight. But um, you could do maybe a third of a cup to half a cup of olive oil and drizzle that over there if you want a little bit of olive oil. And you could even add some little green 
the scallions, but um, I don't really like the onions and stuff. So that's that's it. And uh, that's your quinoa tabbouleh. I hope you enjoy. If you give this recipe a try, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So stay grateful, stay joyful, stay playful, and keep raising your vibe. Peace.